Lies for a living. Wake up. Look. I need to take that tape off your mouth so you could breathe a little bit. Not sure why I care though. Oh, by the way, for anyone why I blindfolded you, it's because while you were sleeping, or passed out, I have no idea. Also, don't care. Um, I had you moved somewhere else. Me and my friends got wind that someone wanted to come in and inspect the house I was renting out. Well, I don't know, don't care. So while one of my friends is with them at the house, I wanted to stay with you at this location. And I just couldn't be bothered to take off the blindfold. How's that for some honesty? I mean, luckily they don't care who's at the house when it's inspected. I thought they would, but luckily they don't care. It's as long as someone's there also while the property is inspected. Blah, 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 blah. Uh, whoever this can wait. Actually, let me quickly check. Hmm. Nope. Not important. Just someone asked me how maternity leave is going. So I can wait. You know, seeing you helpless gives me just a little bit of satisfaction. I mean, what would give me more satisfaction is having the man I love back home with me so him and I can go far away from here. I mean, you pretty much ruined both our lives with your stupid mouth that can't and all the lies that come out of it anyway. So we both agreed that whenever he gets out from this bogus bloody charge we'd go far away from here raise this baby without funny looks people knowing the lies and judging us for that but for the time being though I'm not sure what to do with you yeah letting you go is the last thing I'd like to do for you I'd like to do to you and for you you see you're making me mumble over my words again Look, I really want to believe that you won't say anything or you'll uh, change your statement. But even if all that was true, and you told them that you did this for a story and that kind of thing, it wouldn't matter. Our names have turned into mud already because of you. So instead of being excited about my baby's arrival, I'm constantly writing letters, making phone calls to request that he has temporary release when my son is due. Oh, I know I shouldn't be doing all of this by myself. But I don't really have anybody right now. The only friends and family who still support me, which isn't many, live in other countries, live too far, and they are struggling to get flights here to help me with the baby. But I don't know about the stuff you don't care about. Uh, yeah, don't give me that crap. The only thing you care about is a good story. You know, way to get credit, get your name in the paper, whatever. And uh, right now, I think making sure that you get out of here alive is one of your priorities too. But that's not your decision right now, is it? It's mine. I mean, shall I just dump you somewhere, badly beaten? Do I kill you and make it like a suicide, like I first thought of doing? Hmm. Then again, the way we moved you means we may have to put a mail. You know what, I'm not even going to explain that because I'm bored of talking about that. And in my condition, I will actually ask someone to do what? Oh no, the people who helped me with you are more people I hired who understand what it's like to go through these kind of things. But this is more like, you know, not you, amazingly. Oh no, I actually asked, but no, what they were going through is different. 
I mean, yeah, I do see them as my friends, but maybe it's my hormones wanting me to get too involved and, you know, when you're vulnerable like that, you probably assume everyone wants to be your friend. I already know you don't want to be. You practically ruined my life, my boy's life, and my boyfriend's life. No matter what I do with you, I guess nothing's going to change that. But I'd rather make you pay for what you did. But so much is on my mind right now, so. But yeah, I'm getting too involved in the situation with these people, so. When everything's calmed down, maybe they still will be friends. Still will be. Maybe they will be my friends, I don't know. But yeah, still not sure what to do with you. Oh, by the way, I'm not going to be uh, watching you for that much longer. One of my friends is going to be here soon. See, still call them my friends even though I'm not sure. See, they'll be keeping an eye on you while they visit Jacob in prison. You know, the part that frustrates me when I visit, aside from the fact that I have to be there at all, and we don't need to be, thank you to you again, is that he has to let the guard know and get permission to feel his own baby kicking. And you know what, I'm using gestures of my hand despite the fact you're fucking blindfolded. <sighs> Things someone does, I've got such a baby brain. Actually, does baby brain happen when you're pregnant or after you've had the baby? Oh well, I'll figure that out. <laughs> but yeah, has to feel his own son kicking. <sighs> hmm? I already told you I don't know what I want to do with you yet. But right now, you are not my priority. So... Hold on a minute. Yeah, you didn't hear that last thing because I put my phone on vibrate. Da -da. Mm -hmm. Messages, 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 blah, 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 blah. New one. Here we go. Okay, my friend's outside. He's going to wait for me to get out so he can come in. He's going to watch over you, make sure you don't escape, make too much noise. Well, you get the idea. No, he's not going to hurt you. I gave him and anyone else who get in gets instructions to watch you to not lay a hand on you. I said I wanted to do that. But then again, that contradicts what I said earlier, doesn't it? That I may have to ask someone to do anything for me. Once again, this is my frustration or is this baby brain? <laughs> By the way, the only thing I can promise you is right now, they won't lay a hand on you because I don't know what I want done. In the meantime, I've got to go see my boyfriend and my baby daddy. See you later. Remember, don't go too far. <laughs>